see you. Great to see you again. Yes. I missed you last year. I, I don't know, know we why. Did this, well, we did it with Bob last yeah, year. You yeah, you did the yes, program, did, but, but I we, missed we you. We still so, missed you. <laughs> yeah, it's been a, a while. Yeah, it has. Yeah. It has. So, the pleasure of getting to view your fabulous thing. You've got some remarkable things in this Thank room. You. Thank yeah. you. Appreciate that very so, much, as always. Yeah. 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 Start right here. So that catches my that eye. Is That's so eye fabulous. Catching. I mean, how many human rights? That. How many human rights have you seen with with the crystals of gem red? Exactly. Yeah. I mean, it's amazing. Yeah. It's like fiery red. Just fantastic. It's a beautiful piece. This is catching my eye. Yeah, this piece here, let me just get my key. This yeah. piece here is very unusual. It's got sort of an etched base. Uh, it's Illinois. Okay. Uh, it's from Hardin County. Okay. Don't know the mine, actually. Yeah. But it's uh, it's got this beautiful etched fluorite. blue fluorite with a purple line going through it. And then three giant galenas at the top. Oh, my God. It's unique. I've it's never totally seen anything totally like it. Yeah. Never yeah. seen anything yeah. like this. That is wonderful. I mean, you're the famous Benito White King, so you would appreciate that yeah, more than most. This is wonderful. Yeah. And scattered so well. Yeah, beautifully yeah. placed on yeah. the matrix yeah. like that, and big crystals. When did you put them on here? I know. Well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's, that's fantastic. And it's, you know, these are always etched out. And, yeah, but that the, is whoever correct. did the etching, we didn't do it. Did just a beautiful job a of leaving plus. just enough white. That's right. Yeah, to, yeah, to contrast to with it. the blue. It's that's very correct. important. Yeah. yeah, they did a wonderful yeah. job yeah. on it. No, that's fantastic. And every crystal is perfect on it. Yeah, really nice. Really, the color is, yeah. is just that sapphire blue is yeah, unique to these. Uh, it's got the color. The, yeah, the and it's got a couple perfection. of Neptunites. Not yeah. much. Just oh, a little, yeah, little, yeah, little, little bit. Yeah. Okay. That piece is is well known. It's actually. Probably been out about 30, 40 years wow. now. And it was, it's been pictured in several books okay. and uh, magazines. It's a well known piece from the Santa Rosa mine. Okay. And uh, it's just, you can't get gem ear crystals oh. in that and more, more saturated color. And you can see right there, you could read oh, through those it's crystals. It's fabulous. I can see it. They're just moving it up and down yeah, here. Yeah. Yeah. This is one of the great tourmalines in the world. Absolutely. By far. I, I feel the absolutely. same way. It's one of the great tourmalines. This in the would world. have to be in a book of tourmalines. Yeah. It'd be yeah. A, a terrible if they didn't have yeah. it in the book. Yeah, it's a pretty famous uh, piece, and we've been after it for years and finally got it, and it was it sold immediately. Fantastic. Yeah, it's, it's just, uh, we're very happy with this piece. Oh, yeah. it's fabulous. Yeah. This is beautiful. <laughs> I don't know the date of these. This the is calcite, calcite from Norway. I don't know when they came out, but this hedgehog look and the deep amber color, it's fabulous. It's unique uh, to this find. Yeah. And they glow. You just oh, a little bit of light, they just glow. Absolutely beautiful. And we got this this year uh, in Europe, and I think they were recently found. I'm, I have, okay. I'm, from the little bit I know that. Yeah, I don't it, remember yeah. seeing them before. Yeah, so yeah, I think they were recently they must found. Be new. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It was a small group, and uh, this is one of the larger ones. Fantastic. This is from Madagascar. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to take it. It's a little bit tricky to get this one around off the yeah, base. Sure. But it's from Madagascar, and mm. it's just this fabulous, doubly terminated jewel sitting oh, on Matrix. Beautiful. This Look is a it. fairly new find. Okay. Um, from about a year ago. Okay. And we have two of them in the room, but this one is a little different than the other one. And uh, from, you know, it, it, it's as good as Amethyst gets. Oh. Yeah. Wonderful. I love the the, the phantom, the phantom in is it. Great, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, just as you were saying, oh, look at the phantom in there. Very reminiscent oh, yeah. of Brandberg. Oh, it almost okay. feels like Brandberg amethyst, yeah. but these are Madagascar. Fantastic. And we can go to the sulfur there. And like Not there. a sulfur. Bruce it is it? Oh, for Pete's sake, I it's, thought it was sulfur. I know. Just it from has the distance. same color as sulfur. Oh, it's, it's the a, best color of, I've ever yeah, seen of this. It's bright yellow Bruce Never seen anything like that. On this Druzy Quartz Matrix. And now they've been finding these the last couple of years in Pakistan. Yeah. There's been a couple of finds of these, but for my taste and what I look for in a mineral, this is my favorite one. Oh, because by far. Because it's isolated on a contrasting that's matrix. That's right. And, and it's a complete Intense ball. yellow, too. Yeah, the, the color, color of this is crazy. absolutely fabulous. Yeah, yeah. I thought it was a sulfur uh, back yeah, there yeah. from an odd locality because right. it did look like the sulfur deposit area of Italy. Oh, that's fantastic. I, I think these bruise sites from Pakistan have to be the finest examples in the world. I, I, I believe it. Yeah, I, I've never the seen species, anything like that. They have that. to be the best. Yeah, yeah never yeah. seen anything like this. Yeah. Absolutely right. 
I would die to have this in my collection in my early days. And I love that it's complete. Like all the way around. Nothing no. missing. I like that. And this is a pink florid from France. Uh, from on France. a little bit of dolomite yeah. with some nice inclusions of green, dark green yeah. chloride. But uh, look at this. That's crystal. Yeah. Razor yeah. sharp. Yeah, yeah. I like the Complex. contrast between this one and this one. That's right, exactly. With the white matrix to add to the wonderful piece. What is this, uh, Cleveland diet? Or? Uh, dolomite, I believe. Oh, dolomite, yeah, okay. I believe, I believe it's yeah, dolomite matrix. I didn't think it was because yeah. Cleveland diet saves it more. And it's basically transparent. In it the, is. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. And what's also fine, not only it's transparent, but you don't have any fissures or no, cleavage things. Exactly. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It's just beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> this emerald. Oh my God. You may remember this emerald. This was once owned by Rex Harris. Oh. And it's been pictured in a couple of places. It's called the Angel of the Andes. And uh, it was his personal piece. And uh, You know, they talked about it. Oh, really? They forgot to show it to me when oh, really? I was visiting them. Uh -huh, we uh -huh. had this emerald. You, you, you want to see it? But yeah. It was in the safe in the bank, uh -huh. and uh, then it was forgotten. Oh, he forgot. I well, forgot. That's it. Oh that's my it. God! This yeah. is a killer. Isn't that crazy? We, All the these, stepped up and these crystals oh. growing out of the sides. Uh, yeah. Look at that. Look at that. And we're okay. What's it's, the deal? It's Colombian. Colombian. It's an old Colombian yeah. piece, and uh, it went through Rex Harris, and then to another collector, and then to us. Yeah. Uh, and we, we now, one of the reasons we were very excited to get this piece is that in our gallery in New York City, we're doing an ex emerald exhibit starting on September 26th, and we're going to have emeralds from around the world. They're going to be the best emeralds from private collections, museums, and from other dealers. Fantastic. You and, got to take and, this. Well, that oh. will be in the exhibit. Oh, We're going yeah. to do this exhibit, and it's going to take up an entire room in our gallery. It will be on for three months. We're going to have an, an opening night party on September 26th with Ron Ringswood. We'll be doing a, a, a talk for us. Mm -hmm. We'll have videos going. It's going to be an educational exhibit, and it's going to be literally a reunion, if you can say that, yes. of the world's greatest emeralds. That's fantastic. And, um, in fact, if, if I can, I'll put yeah. this one away. I'd like yeah, to show sure. you one more emerald that's going to be in the exhibit. Very good. Uh, okay. if, if that's okay. And oh, yeah, by let me all just means. go grab it. It's on the desk. Yes, yeah, sure. This emerald here is on loan to us from uh, my good friend, Irv Brown. This oh, is in okay. his personal collection. It oh. won't be for sale, but it'll be on exhibit. A jewel. It's, it, it's Look at that. Like Perfect cut stone, miniature. Like three cut stones on Matrix. It's yeah, unbelievable. Literally. It's actually yeah. got a name. It's called the Three Amigos. Oh. <laughs> and uh, that's cute. So it's going to be emeralds like this, of this quality, and oh. there's going to be cases of them on exhibit. Fantastic. So... I encourage every collector who has the time and the ability to get to New York to see this exhibit. It will be a one-time only to, to see this many great emeralds in one place. Yeah. The front is polished, right. which is very typical with included pieces. Yes. It's quartz with hematite inclusions right. and a little bit of rutile in there okay. from Brazil. Okay. And uh, I've never seen such sharp hematite crystals in, exactly. included in quartz. That's what catches my eye, these leaf slings. and. It, it, it's just a beautiful thing. It is. It looks like a piece of art. It is. And what I like is the, the quartz almost disappears. And you're really looking That's at right. the interior. Exactly. And that is something that I, I always try to teach people about inclusions. The yes. inclusion is about the inclusion. Yeah. It doesn't matter that the outside is polished so you can see it. Exactly. It, it's about there what's it inside. Is. Yeah. yeah. It's inside yeah. the quartz. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And uh, to have euhedral crystals like that. Yes. Very unusual. They're very. Yeah. Ne I've never seen anything like yeah. that. And this is the best one of these type I've seen. I've never seen any, that that thing. Is Again, phenomenal. Again, another Brazilian quartz God. crystal with multiple phantoms. Yes. And different levels have different uh, colors and minerals yes. that cause the phantom. Uh, yeah. The big one in the middle is chloride, the, right, the green right. one. Right. Uh, again, it is a polished specimen on the front, and uh, but the inclusions are just amazing. Yeah, the they're, they're, right. they're strong and they jump out yeah, there when, yeah. when you look at the thing. Exactly. Yeah. Fantastic. This Galena oh. was a part of a small group that we got from Peru. Okay. They're about 20 years old. They're okay. not new. And uh, they were, in my opinion, they're the best Galenas I've ever seen from oh. Peru. Oh, it's fabulous. And in fact, Peru, when you think about Peru, it produces so many sulfide minerals. Yes. But not many great Galenas. That's it's right. It's one of like, the when only ones. Yeah, you rarely get yeah. great Galenas from Peru. Uh, 
Wonderful piece. They started to find these in Colombia with the yellow-tipped quartz. Yeah. They were analyzed as Humboldtine, but right now they're telling me that they're not so sure anymore about that analysis. Okay. So we're now just calling it a yellow inclusion because we don't right. really know. Okay. Uh, there were three major finds that we know of of these yellow-tipped quartz, and yeah. each group is slightly different. I see. This is from the most recent find, mm -hmm. has very fine, thin crystals, it's beautiful. Just... and uh, very bright. Yeah. Oh, that's a wonderful piece. Truly a museum-quality piece. The centerpiece, that looks like a calcite with inclusions. It is. It's a calcite from India with okay. hematite inclusions. That's what's it's causing the red. Beautiful. The crystal is actually a cleavage crystal. It's okay. not, the faces are not the outside faces. They're, okay. I guess I call them the inside faces if you want to. Yeah. But it's a cleavage. But yeah. it has the shape of a calcite crystal. Yeah. And it's, you know, it's just, look at the perfection of it. Oh my you don't gosh, see a showy thing like and that. colorful. Well, and yeah, it absolutely. is natural. It is totally natural. That's we haven't right. done anything to it. It's, that's somebody right. asked me if it was polished. No, we haven't done anything to it. Yeah. Natural. No, that's that's fabulous. Yeah. yeah. And it's the only one I've ever seen. Yeah, I've never seen it no. before. When I sat down, what in the yeah. world? Yeah. Yeah. Beautiful. Well, that, I think you would agree that that's they're the finest phthalates in the world. I've never seen anything close to yeah. that. It, I mean, it's that is solid gem quality phthalorite. Sure and is. Unfortunately, in this case, you can only appreciate it so much. If, yes. If we put more light behind it, it yeah. uh, you can't even imagine what it looks like. Oh, it just like, it, it looks it glows this eerie red, orange, oh, amber color. It's stunning. It's the best one I've ever it, seen. It's the biggest um, and largest yeah. one. Uh, and never best seen, one we've any, ever seen any better And it's an old one, it. too. That's a very old piece. Oh, yeah. The little are. scalahedron calcite in there. Isn't that yeah. neat? Yeah. God, that is fantastic. The size could, and the gemminess and the color. You could cut a lot of stones out of that thing. Oh, my God. <laughs> You'd be hung. <laughs> exactly. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> these have been, they've been finding these last few years in Wonderful. Russia, these red tourmalines. Wonderful. And suddenly we saw a few that exceeded all the rest. And what we're oh. being told is that these... Uh, like this one comes yeah. from a stash that the miners have been putting aside wow. every time they mine something great and you finally decided to let let a few go, and that's Fantastic. one of them. Fantastic. Yeah. Could you get that out? Absolutely. I think that we're talking about something that is legendary. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Here you have rubelite and the snow white oh, quartz and got. all that. Yeah, I got it. Oh, my God. That's fabulous. And it's interesting that they are lidocotites. Yes. Yeah, uh, yeah. That's yeah. wonderful. Yeah. At first, we thought they were just rubellites, but then they were uh, analyzed as lidocotite. Makes it even more important. It does, yeah. yeah very yeah. much so. Absolutely. I liked him. He, he was very kind to me when I came in GI. He oh, just Richard, stopped what Richard he was Lidicote. doing and spent yeah. two hours with me. Yeah, I've, all, I've met him many years ago. He seemed like yeah. a very nice Very person. nice yeah. man. Yeah. I was very sad. He, yeah. he wasn't that old no. when he passed away. No. This is wonderful. It, it it really looks like a, a custom made fabulous thing. Yeah, you, you couldn't do a better job. Uh, <laughs> of uh, it, 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 it's unbelievable. Yeah, yeah. And really... this here with these deep green fluorites and snow white. <laughs> oh my God! Isn't that it's, it's amazing? A, the uh, they're gem quality fluorites Absolutely. on a white aragonite matrix. Yeah, and where's uh, that from? The, well, we have it labeled Roger Lee Mine, but I I was told by the owner of the mine that it's the same mining area, area but it's a different name. I think okay. it's the. I can't remember the Diana mine. I'm yeah, a little bit right. uh, forgetting. But anyway, it, it's, it's from the same area, place. Area. Yeah, yeah. And as far as I know, they've only found the white aragonite twice. The fluorites with the white aragonite, and for some reason, these fluorites, when they come with the white aragonite, are the are much gemmier. It's yeah, it's hard to explain, why. but yeah. they're and much the gemmier truth. than the others. Yeah, yeah, they're water clear. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. wonderful piece. This thing is a fantastic. Can That's you pull a that out? Yeah. from the classic locality of Anabanonia, Madagascar. Holy cow! And I mean, this, this again thing. is is really it's a gem quality. Oh, it's fabulous! Um, complete that size. Look at the condition crystal. of oh, this it's thing. Perfect. It's, it's absolutely perfect. Yeah, yeah. And the color. And look at the luster on those yeah. faces. Unbelievable. I, I yeah, love see, tourmaline's my favorite. I, I've never had that. anything like some of these pieces yeah. you showed me. 
This, interestingly enough, is fairly recent out of the ground. Wow. Yeah, I mean, I remember when these things were long ago, you would see a crystal like this maybe yes. in a museum. They found this a couple of years ago. Fabulous. This is um, from a really obscure locality in Washington State. Okay. And it's calcopyrite on quartz with these iridescent colors, which are obviously natural iridescent colors. And then you've got this strange black crystal running through it. Oh, yeah. It's a crystal. It's a mineral that I'm not even familiar with called Lillianite Gustavite. Interesting. And it's very rare. And this may be the finest example ever found. Fantastic. Um, of, from this mine in Washington, I've only seen four pieces, five pieces ever of this calcopyrite. Wow. And this is considered the number one piece they ever found. I believe it. Oh, that's remarkable. And it's old, too. It, it came out a long time ago. Oh, like uh, like what is a long time? I would say at say? least 25 years ago, 30 years ago. 25 years ago, years yeah. ago yeah. Yeah. 30. That's fantastic. It's from Myanmar. It's God. fairly recent, and but what a beautiful backdrop. It's fabulous. That's gem quality smoky. Absolutely fabulous. You've got this huge crystal of muscovite, oh, Clevelandite, just and wonderful. a gem quality uh, crystal of smoky quartz. Yes. What's so neat about it, you can tell that this is 100% natural. Oh, yeah. See, yeah. some people can't tell the repairs from non-repairs in mm. this. It can, it's obviously perfect. Yes, yes. That's just a beautiful, for that size, for double That's termination. A Gwindle, and Gwindle. On a Gwindle on a clear quartz. Right. From Switzerland. Fabulous. And it's all complete. Com it just, it's just the way you look, it's a complete yeah. floater, just the way you see it. That's right. And the thing of it is, quartz is very common, but not like that. Yeah, and uh, actually extremely. clear Gwindles are yeah. rarer than smoky Gwindles. That is correct. Much rarer. Yeah, that, yeah. Exactly yeah. right. Look at that root tile. Are you ready this for that? This is from India. It's uh, came out in the last two years. This is one a one time find. It's and wonderful. Look at the this, inclusions down there. And you know how I was explaining before how inclusions are often polished. Yeah. Not polished. Yeah. That's exactly. natural. Everything is oh. natural. It's like the quartz doesn't exist. You can you see through it. It's like it's not even. Now, there. when you say polished, the, the outside crystals natural. It's natural. Good. Can you bring that yeah, up? Absolutely, yeah, absolutely. Hey, look at this thing. And look at those golden needles. If you get look at the side of it, it goes all the way around. When now, I, are those uh, some inclusions? It isn't a reflection from this. No, is it's it down. It's all inclusions inside. Inside. Yeah, absolutely. That's what yeah, I thought. Yeah. yeah. It, and yeah, I admit, definitely when is. I first saw this piece, I assumed it was polished. But oh, this yeah. is completely natural. Oh, yeah, I yeah. can see that. 100% yeah. natural. Yeah. This is from Nevada, Scepter Quartz. Oh, from Quartz Nevada. From Nevada. Yeah. Is that that location real close to uh, California? Uh, yeah, I think it is. Yeah, oh, okay. I, 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 I'd forgotten the name. Oh, it's a Hallelujah Junction. Yeah, yeah Hallelujah, Hallelujah Junction. Junction. Yes. The best one I've ever seen, yeah. period. Yeah. Uh, well, <laughs> I've you. seen a lot. <laughs> yeah. I've Me never too. seen a better one. <laughs> Look at this thing. Yeah, I have to agree. It's the best one I've ever seen, too. <laughs> and, uh, I'm sure you examined it very carefully <laughs> to make sure it hasn't been made up. No, no, it's, it's natural. Like, In I, fact, earlier today, uh, uh, this a woman came in who I didn't know, and she showed me on her phone a picture of the guy who mined it holding oh. it outside the mine. Oh, would you believe yeah, that? Yeah, it was just out of the blue. She had a picture on her phone. She Did was there the day it was mine. Did you tell her to give us a, a copy of Yeah, that she's going to send me a copy good. of it. Yes, Very yes. good. Yeah. Scepters, would you believe this? That how that, that wonderful ones have come out. This Absolutely. is the best yeah. I've ever seen I, by too. far. Me too, but you're right. But nice, beautiful, single ones. It's a unique and so locality. Forth. It really yeah. is. Yeah. I mean, it just belches out these fine things it's, when they go digging there. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And it seems to go on and on and on. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Different, every year they come up with That's some. Right. That's right. Not a lot, but they come up and with some. And this one is just perfect. Perfect. And, and I like the way the three tops are yes. generally the same size. Exactly. Very, it's very eye appealing. This this yeah. is a Gwindle. On a quartz crystal, this one, this one we can take off. A smoky quartz oh, window yeah. on a smoky quartz from Switzerland. This is fabulous. Here's your regular quartz, yeah. and then they got a Gwenda. Yeah, right at that. That's to fabulous. It. Yeah. Yeah. That's wonderful. <sighs> that, this is what I. I Always try to teach collectors. Yeah. There are Vanadenites and yeah. there are Vanadenites. That's correct. And this is stands 
leagues above all the others. Absolutely. Yeah, I mean, you can walk into rooms and see yeah, a thousand just of them. Like, God, but look at that yeah, thing. Yeah, I mean, with big crystals and the Chetoyan size and the white matrix, it's, uh, it's one of the best I've ever had. Absolutely. I agree. Now, this one here, what is this here? This, everybody thinks is a galena when they walk in, the but hematite? it's not. It's a hematite it from is Brazil. Hematite. Yeah, yeah. Well, you Killer. figured it out. Most people think it's a galena. <laughs> Killer. It's so rare to see that form. Look at that. Yeah, yeah. That's uh, 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 the modification of a lot of the crystals at this show so f so far. It's unbelievable. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Look at yeah, yeah, look, yeah. Look at the crystal faces yeah, on this. Yeah. It isn't just a blocky crystal. No. Yeah. Well, yeah. congratulations. Thank you, Dave. Keep up the good work. Appreciate it. Yeah. Thank you so much. Yeah. David P., I have to tell you something. <laughs> you are Mr. Queen Mine, and you missed the finest green cap in the whole room right there. Well, how, how can I do that? I don't know. Look. You put that in there after. I snuck the little one in, but the big one. Oh, my God. That's the piece that's that was Miguel Romero. Oh, you missed it with oh, the glass. I, I kind of missed it. OK. It's a beautiful, brilliant out. Oh, it's I'd like have that in my cap. collection immediately. I know, you, I, I know you would have. Yeah. I, I know this would have been prominent in your collection. Oh, yeah, absolutely. The green caps are rarer than the blue caps. That is correct. And and that's probably the finest of the By green caps. By far the finest. Yeah. Yeah, I have not seen a better one. Seen a, kind of, kind of a few minor ones. No, that's a major thing. See, I was so, that thing grabbed me so. And, oh, I, and I get it. I it's get it. Mind boggling. So there's Dave with his legend, and here's Irv. But they're from the same pocket. <laughs> same pocket. They, they sure are. I had this delivered because I had it mounted. I had no idea. I put uh -huh. it next to that one. Oh, my goodness. That's the same pocket. 1974 sure. after the Barlow pocket. That's right. Yeah. I can't believe that. 74 and this is 2019. I know. I know. <laughs> no I know. wonder. And the, the older you get, the faster the time goes. That's wonderful. Well, I had to interject myself. So you want to see some things that I have? Yes, I would love to see them. I picked this because I know that you love tourmaline. Very good. Wow. Is that Brazil? Santa Rosa. Unbelievable. Yes. Remember the one they have in the Smithsonian, the one that it's yeah. actually a little small in this with some car, but sidecars. Yeah. But this, look at that luster. It's much better. It has I know it is, it is. It is better. Much better. But it's a really a old classic, yeah? Fantastic. Look at that thing. Yeah, I think that may be the front. And you know the center cores of those are rubellite. You can display it anyway. Yeah, it's anyway. a 360. It's yeah. you know for tourmaline, you know this, but for tourmaline, there's usually a dull quadrant oh, of the yeah. tourmaline, a dull oh, side. Yeah. It doesn't have a dull side. Yeah, you can display this any way you wish. Yeah, that's marvelous. Weird, and uh, of course, rubellite. Yeah, they used to slice a lot of these. These oh, came out yeah. in 1965. Yeah, yeah. And you know who that, was the that person? That's right. Fred Poe. Fred Poe is the guy that first found these. Oh, and these okay. were found when um, there were these anthills. And the ants brought up little tiny pieces of red, uh, green, excuse me, and red tourmaline, little tiny micro pieces. Wow. And then they realized, where is this coming from? So they dug, and, they and that's see. how the Santa Rosa was found. Well, how could the ants get a hold of a little piece of the tourmaline? Because there were little chips and stuff, and they brought it up with the sand when they made the sand hills. Oh, and then the okay. Peros, if I'm saying that correctly. Yeah. They just started digging hills and the hillsides and the whole okay. place became unstable. But uh, okay. Fred Pell's the one that brought these in. Unbelievable. Yeah. Fabulous. Interesting. This is one of those Madagascar demantoids. Oh, it's called either the smile or the necklace. My wife calls it the ne necklace. I, prove, I, I like to call it the smile. What does that look like there? The, the, what part? It's a fossil. Yeah, it does. It's look a like shell. Was... Now, how did that happen? Where wow. that grew around a, a, a imprint of a, of a shell? See, that could be older than Methuselah. Isn't that amazing? Yeah. I mean, that's just one of those things. Now, is like, you wow, really I think it's a shell. That's what I was told. Yeah, that's what that I was told. It looks like it. And remember, that say. deposit has a lot of fossils and shells in it, right oh, there. So, okay. yeah. Well, that must be it then. Yeah. That's remarkable, because it's remarkable just with the, the garnets. But to have a shell like that with it, 
And and of course it's nature of and nature puts it puts it right around the shell just like it's a necklace or a smile. Exactly. It's just one of those things you look at, okay, yeah. how did that happen? Yeah. That's fabulous. This is probably arguably, I always say that because nobody's ever seen everything, the finest blue smithsonite I've ever seen anyway. And it's sumet from a classic locality. And it's two colors. You've got the blue and you got the green on the other side. This and is look the best at that color I've ever seen. It's unbelievable. Oh yeah. There's it's, no better it's, color. it's unbelievable. Yeah. I mean, when you look at that, and it's got the wet luster, and I like the bicolor aspect exactly. of it. It's got a little bit of greenish on That's this right. side and got blue on that side. Yeah. No, this color is the strongest color I've seen. <sighs> Nature just I've makes seen me a crazy. Smithsonite over the years. Yeah. Collections, museums. No, this can't be beaten. It's the epitome of that color. So last year, uh, Bob was interviewing me, and I showed him a very fine dioptes on white calcite from Sumet. Yeah. And there's something that a lot of people don't realize, and this is a scientific fact. If you take dioptes on white and you immerse it in water, it grows. And it turns into that. Wow. So... <laughs> I looked. Yes. I opened the box when I bought that, and I was like, "Oh my god!" Yeah. Oh my god! I, it's one of the best ones I've ever oh, seen. Oh, absolutely! You've got the luster. You've got chunky crystals. Space you, and I, yes, and it's, it's white, and it's on white. And it's on white. It's like one of those things. Like, how do you make this better? Yeah. Ugh. Absolutely a jewel. Mirror bright fit crystal faces. And Diopte started me when I was when I was eleven years old. I got the original Mineral Digest magazine, the one that uh, Astro had made, that eight-issue right. magazine. That's right. So my parents got me one, and I remember seeing Minerals of Sumeb. So as a kid, I wrote away, and I wrote, Miner, Sumeb Mine, Sumeb Southwest Africa, because that's what it was back then. That's right. And I put a picture of myself, and I said, okay, I, my name was Irvy Brown by then when I was a kid. Yeah. So... Um, I just sent that with a picture of myself to the mine with no address, nothing, just like that. They sent me back a dioptase, a cerusite, and a small calcite with some duftite in it. And they just gave it to me. They sent me this package with a mine prospect uh, oh prospectus. My God. So I always had a soft spot for dioptase. When I saw that, it was like, that's the last one I'm ever going to own. It's the epitome. It is the, the, yeah, I can't change this. This is as good as I can imagine right. a dioptase for me ever going to be. That's right. Right? Not so quite, this quite belongs quite. to a very good friend of mine. Mm -hmm. When I first met him, he was five years old. And I think his taste is developing into where he's going to be a major person. And I think he's a chop off the old block. Very good. This piece was purchased by Connor Walensky. Oh, and it's man. a fuchsite, fuchsite in quartz. That's wonderful. And his dad likes inclusions, as you saw. Yes. It's pristine it's beautiful and he he picked it out he says Irv what do you think of this I helped him negotiate it and it really hits my heart yes. that here 22 years old this is what he's doing That's so I just fantastic. wanted to show this and he doesn't know that I'm showing his rock but yeah but I just you know well you tell him that it's a killer it is a killer yeah. I know it's a killer and this one really hits me where you have that point right and it's got a large a, face. Absolutely. There. And the luster is good. The color oh, contrast beautiful. is good. He's got a good he's got good taste. Very good taste. You know. Tell him he's on his way. David.